Researchers at the University of Johannesburg believe they're on a new path when it comes to treating cancer. They've discovered a new family of very promising silver-based anti-cancer drugs that have been successfully tested on rats and human cancer cells in laboratory. What we have observed in, uh, in the lab setting and in vitro, these compounds do not affect normal or non-malignant cells to the, even close to the same extent than it does um, the cancer cells. What we have tested um, certainly seems to indicate that this compound can target quite a few different types of cancer. And the last set of data that we published actually shows that these compounds actually influence the mitochondria of the cell, which is particularly important for us because the mitochondria, these so-called powerhouses of the cell, are the ones that are involved in this specific mode of apoptosis. The compound is being called UJ3, and researchers here believe they've made a breakthrough. I'm very optimistic. The results look good. We are very happy with them. And um, we've done the same studies on different compounds, and then we found with this specific one that the results look awesome. And it actually shows you that it does target the mitochondria and the cancer cells. We still have to dig a little bit further and go ahead with some xenograph tests where we see we do know that the compound can enter the tumour. We believe that the upscalability of these compounds will be relatively inexpensive to do. And we're hoping that if this happens and we are successful at clinical trials, that this chemotherapeutic drug would be available to South Africa, to Africa and then to the rest of the world. If UJ3 becomes a chemotherapy drug in the future with a lower dose and toxicity and less side effects from cancer treatment, this could mean a medical breakthrough for South Africa. It is really so exciting news, but yes, again to say it's early days. If we will have to allow them still a few more years, which will also then depend on, on financing. We know that clinic, the development of clinical drugs are very expensive and that is why clinical drug developments and new drugs are usually coming from first world countries. So this will really be a breakthrough and a feather in the cap of South Africa if we can eventually produce such a drug. The 10 years of lab work have been very positive but there is still a long way to go with preclinical and clinical trials. However, if trials prove successful, South Africa could in the future develop a more economical and effective chemotherapy drug. Chilishara CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.